Hello everyone, this is Ron again with episode 4 of my full playthrough of the Resident Evil 2 Leon B scenario. Um, if you recall last time, I basically got all ready to head into the sewers. You'll see right there as I'm pointing, I upgraded Leon's handgun. Probably not the best move. But basically, um, I pretty much got to where I was when I died at the end of episode 2, um, last episode. But, however, overall I put myself in a much better position to move forward, which I will be doing now. So I have to head back underground. And I've got three of these plugs here, plus a whole ton of healing and the magnum. Okay. So I gotta head back underground. Which means going back to the other side. So I will go do that. And uh, it was funny, while I was kind of getting ready for this, I was just thinking about um, a little bit kind of like where the whole survival horror genre came from. And what people don't realize is really like the whole genre was just, it's an extension of the old point and click adventure games on PC. It's, they it, it, this is how they pretty much got onto consoles with it. Um, you know, because you can't, point and click doesn't work too well on a gamepad, so you know, so so they had to make make those types of adventure games what that led you to directly control the character, and I think from that is where you got more of the action part of it, kind of make it an action slash adventure game, because with direct control, you can, it's then easier to deal with enemies, things like that, but the adventure elements are still very prevalent because, as you see, we're solving weird puzzles, a lot of, lot of exploring, going around, seeing what there is to see. So it's just kind of neat to see that extension. It's kind of, it's kind of funny too because, like, because this whole genre really kind of, pretty much, sort of has died off. I mean. It kind of morphed into like the over-the-shoulder third-person games with like Resident Evil 4, where it was there was definitely much more action now. Um, where it, it, instead of being kind of like a real, I don't know, it felt like because like these they feel and they play like a mix of action and adventure games. Like you're still doing the weird puzzles, you're still, but you have some action, um, and it feels like it tilts a little bit more towards the adventure side of things. Um, however, like when Resident Evil 4 came around, it seems like then was when they finally really tipped over from going from leaning towards the adventure side to making it, it's pretty much all action, you know, it's mostly action with some of the puzzle and, and horror elements. And, um, you know, I kind of, like, I really kind of miss these old games, um, the different play style. Um, I feel like I have to actually think a little bit more about what I'm doing, um, especially when it comes to things like ammo and that. Yep, need this manhole opener to head down to the sewers. Whereas, like, Resident Evil 4, I mean, you still get some of that, but if you know what you're doing, you should never be hurting for ammo in that game. Um, whereas in these, in these old ones, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, you know, you really gotta pay attention. E even in Resident Evil 3, which has a little bit more action as opposed to some of the to like maybe this one or Resident Evil 1 um, and as a result more ammo you, even still you're worrying about ammo because you have to fight Nemesis and that always takes a lot of ammo to deal with him so let's use the manhole opener we're gonna head down to the sewers yeah look at this people progress only took an entire additional episode yes these sewers are going to look pretty similar to um, what was going on. Eh, spiders. I don't like spiders. Nobody likes spiders. Uh, I don't know where I'm going specifically, but I want to get away from the spiders. Okay, so there really probably wasn't anything there. No, this is probably a save room. If it is, I'm going to be so mad. And it is, of course. Ugh. See, this aggravates me a lot because, um... Especially since I died and had to go through all that stuff. It's like, 
It's basically if I had gone just a little bit farther, I would have gotten to a save point. Oh well. Let's do that. Take that out, and then the blue herb, just for sake of doing it. We'll combine them and get the green. I didn't combine it with my other full heal because I uh, probably don't really need it, and I kind of did. I kind of didn't remember, but oh well. So, yeah, I'm not gonna save just yet. I remember this part. Is this going to play out the same way? Ah, uh, yes. This area will be will become important shortly. See this right here? It looks like a there is a cane. Okay. See, this 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 is where all those plugs were for. This area is going to be important shortly. I have three of the plugs. I think they got a fourth one. So I'll we'll get that taken care of. Oh, hey Ada, what's up? Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Oh. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Oh, give it a shot. Least, I'll go and check. Sure, why not? <laughs> Interesting. I think I think that's that's actually a different way of doing it than than how he does it in the A scenario. Oh, so Ada just saw Sherry, apparently. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a locket! How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Yes, you do that, Ada. So now... Now I am playing as Ada. See, whereas in Claire, you have to play as Sherry, who has no weapons. I get to play as Ada with Leon, who has a handgun. And it is quite handy because uh, because it's Ada, and I'm only going to be playing as her a short while. I basically don't really need to worry about conserving ammo because uh, because I know I'm just I'm not really going to need it. So I'm not going to need to save it because once I switch away from her, that's it. Well, it's odd though because uh, in the A scenario, when you play as Leon, this part has dogs in it. Yeah, yeah it's getting close there. But see, this here is actually really nice because basically, I can just clear out a couple rooms full of enemies, rooms that I'm probably going to have to go in, and uh, they just they won't be an issue. This is a puzzle that's got to be solved. I'll come back and do this shortly. There's something else I want to check. Because I think I can get additional items for Leon. Wait, did... <laughs> oh, that's... It seems like she's wearing some sort of locket or something. Like, did she just, like, put it on? It's like, ah, uh, you know, I'll just loot from a, from a small girl. It's fine. Yeah, see these shotgun shells. I want to get these so that I can give them to Leon later because because Ada will go back and toss some items to Leon and if she finds like shotgun shells and stuff she gives those she she tosses those over so get some more ammo for Leon while I'm at it Okay, so now we're gonna head back here. Do this puzzle again. This time I'm doing it as Ada.
Although since it's kind of weird since since these B scenarios kind of are like, okay, this is what these people were doing, you know, while the other person was doing. You're still solving like the same puzzles. So like, so like, how did they get unsolved? But uh, yeah. Of course, you see the thing is, th this is also one of those things where it's just like, can you really consider this like a puzzle? I mean, it doesn't exactly, it's 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 not like it's hard to figure out, I mean, hey, push this box forward, push another box, so, and then, it's like just push some boxes around, and then you're pretty much done. I mean, I mean, even the one with the, with the red jewels and the, and the statue holding a fist, like, even that's a little bit of a puzzle, because, because you, because you have to figure out that, okay, you have to at least move them to the, to the right areas, and in the right direction. But this, I don't even know this counts as a puzzle, just because it just, it feels like all you do, basically, is just align things, and it doesn't really feel like there's any sort of thought to it. But, either way. Now I get to run across. Oh, the precinct key, that's the club key. That's important. There's a couple rooms that I have to open up as Leon with it. So let's head back to where Leon is. Or head back to the other. Ah, jeez, what is this? You were dead. Oh well, you'll be fine. So I'll head back, I'll give the key and the shotgun shells back to Leon. Leon who just patiently waited there. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find Did she just anything? stand there the whole time? Didn't move? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. <laughs> See, really, like, um, I know hey, other people are probably pointing this out, but, hole. um, I'm going to have to find another way around. But, I'll um, up with you later. That, and that, in the, the, in the order that she throws them in, you know, you. What? Ada, wait! Oh, Ada, wait again. But like in the in the, in the order that uh, she throws those things, you would think, okay, she throws the key, and then he'd be bent on to pick it up, and then, and then she throws the shotgun shells. Like, she could have very likely just hit him right in the face. <laughs> Got it. Uh, talking to Claire. Uh, I guess that's apparently where I need to go. Okay. On the second floor. Well, I got some precinct key stuff to do. And give me these shotgun shells. Oh yeah. So, okay. So I need to go use the precinct key. And then I need, in order to get the rook, or not the rook, just the last plug that I need apparently. Nice try, spider. Ah, jeez. Caution again? Really? Ugh. It seems to be happening like every five minutes or so. That's okay, I got plenty of green herbs. Okay, so now I'm back in the police station. No, I skipped past, uh, oh well, I'm not gonna risk getting damaged again just to go nab a green herb, especially since I can, uh, just continue on my way until I eventually get one. Although, that could be a little bit risky, but, uh, so yeah, precinct key down there, so yeah, let's, let's make use of this thing. The hell is this dogs really? Yeah. Oh well, those dogs are a little bit slow on the uptake. That's fine with me. So there should be Yes, there's a door here. That I need to unlock. Not that one.
forgot how to rope. Now I think this is where you get something and then a bunch of zombies animate. So... Oh, there's just a liquor right here. What the... Ah, jeez, I'm already in danger. So there were just two liquors just right there. Man, that was not cool. And they really kind of messed me up, too. Oh, yeah, I'll take that red card key. Any day of the week. But, so is this gonna work where I think it is? Is this gonna work on the weapon storage room, which will let me get to the Uzi? Which will be nice to have. Yeah, let me in here. Oh, it's probably gonna be like a zombie in here or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. We got some handgun ammo. Magnum bullets, oh yeah, I'll always take those. They're always quite nice to have. And then, oh look, bam, submachine gun. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so remember, this is the weapon that I passed up in Claire's playthrough to make sure that Leon could get it in this one. And this weapon, you can't reload it, but it's it's a rapid fire, basically, it's a, basically a rapid fire machine gun. Um, it's actually, it's actually not terrible. Um, it tends to be the most useful against groups of zombies, but, um, I might just, uh, bring it into, I believe I have a boss fight up coming up shortly anyway but anyway I need to get back to a save area which I'll be doing before using the last of the club key here because uh, I want to get these magnum bullets in there I want to get the submachine gun in there or actually wait am I right by when you use the club key Oh, there's a door right here that I can use. Might as well use it. There. Now will I remember that it was unlocked? Yes. Actually, no, let's go take a look in here. Who knows? Oh, what is this? Oh, more magnum bullets! Oh man, nice. And this is just a thing. He's like saying what happened. Now, in the A playthrough for Leon, when you get here, this is where you find the magnum. But I found it in the in the uh, office earlier. Oh man, shotgun shells! This is a lot of ammo to be getting, kind of out of nowhere. Game's definitely hinting at some sort of big fight coming up, which I already know is going to be happening. It happens right after I use the four plugs. Sorry about the spoiler there, but it should be pretty obvious at this point, especially after what I went through in the A playthrough. But man, that gives me a magnum with two full reloads, um, submachine gun, and then I've got the pistol with actually two full reloads. I got the shotgun with plenty of extra rounds. Man, this is nice. So now I'm kind of worried that this is all just going to go right to crap. But uh, if it does, it does, I guess. What I need to do is get to a safe a save area. In fact, just in case some new enemies spawn, let's make sure I have my handgun out. And that magnum, having those rounds for that magnum, I know I'm know I'm heading towards a boss. I don't know if I'll get to it this episode or not. But um 
those magnum rounds certainly might certainly be handy because the magnum is just it's a powerful it's just it's a big powerful weapon and Leon can even get it upgraded to make it even more powerful. Um, and uh, and that's actually a big incentive to try to save some of those rounds to till to, to you can get it upgraded because when you can get it upgraded, it just it just rips through bosses and enemies. It's just oh it's ridiculous. But it's still pretty powerful even even without the upgrade. So yeah, well there we go. There's those nice little magnum bullets just hanging out there. We'll stick that in there, and then I need to pull out a full heal. So I had to use one. Stupid lookers. Okay, so. So now I need to go back and use the last of the precinct key, it looks like. See what's in there. I know I keep checking my map, so it should just be right. So I, I know where that is. So let's run back there and get that taken care of. And that should be the last for the club key, so, it's, so that'll clear that out when I can discard it. And then, um. Then I guess I gotta head up to the second floor. Something up there that I gotta do. Hope, oh yeah, Mr. X, haven't seen him in a while. I hope he doesn't decide to make an attack. I could I could totally see that. I could totally be like, yeah, get up here now. And then you think, oh, I'll run up there and meet Claire or something. And then, um, and then bam, he's right there. But this video, I've only seen the one sighting of him so far. Funny thing is, is like, I'd always heard, I've, I've, I'd always heard like stories of him and stuff. Cause he's kind of he's kind of like the precursor to Nemesis a little bit, and um, and uh, you know, so he's supposed to just kind of show up and and like kick the crap out of you. But like, I only ran into him once, and it was just it was just this real this real brief encounter in a, in a hallway where I just kind of ran away from him. So I lit those. What is that? What is this? Do we have a light here? Like the queen, the king, and the jack. No. Yes. Queen. King. Jack. So there's that. Ah, oh, crap, it's him. Jesus. And I was all like, oh, where's Mr. X? <laughs> and then he just busts through the wall on me. Get away from this dude. Oh, man. <laughs> now, the thing is, I, I just I just went through that whole spiel about talking about Mr. X. I had no clue he was going to pop through there at all. Um, I thought I was going to, like, head back up to the second floor and then like he'd show up I was talking with Claire or something. I didn't know he was just gonna BAM bust through that wall. Oh man, that that totally got me. But uh I got Ah oh, jeez again Nope. Not dealing with you, Mr. X <laughs> So the game <laughs> the game answered my questions of where's Mr. X with uh here he is <laughs> It's like a large clock up, but that's up on the third floor. Well, it pointed me out to the second floor. So I said I had to go there, apparently, so I guess that's where I'm going now. There's apparently some door there that I need to do. Uh, I don't know. Let's head up there, see what happens. Of course, now I'm worried that Mr. X is going to show up. And man, and that's even worse than Nemesis because he totally just like busts through the wall, like, like didn't like, like I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, nothing's gonna happen because he's not here. Like, like Nemesis, he shows up in the room, but this guy, like, like the walls he busts through, it just 
it's just to it's just like ah, I didn't think that wall was uh, was gonna do that. Oh, geez, liquor is up here now. What is this? What is this? Okay, see you, liquor. A little bit slow. Okay. I, I have I have never been so happy to hear this music. It's quite nice. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna save. Got a full heal. I've got some weaponry to use. So this was apparently where she wanted me to go. Oh, it, they opened up this door. So this is after Claire blew that open. Huh, this is weird. In Leon's A scenario, never see this part at all. So I have no idea what's going to happen. You can't be there. Yeah. Get the Chief's Diary. And then the painting sh shows that it already being partially moved, so I guess that's kind of signifying that Claire has sort of already done that or is doing it so this is where it's indicating for me to go but I know I'm heading towards a boss fight because that's what I need those three plugs for or I need to get the fourth one which I have not gotten yet So watch, there's gonna be like some freaking Mr. X is gonna be in here and like I'm gonna have to fight him. Secretary's diary. Oh, the crank, of course. So I guess I do have to go back up to the third floor. Because that is where I'll be using the crank. So that's where I'm going apparently. Oh my god, I can't exactly remember how to get there. This is gonna be great. So, hmm, that's interesting. So for that, ah, what is this? I don't like this. Jeez, there he is. I am not... I I would rather take the hit and get away from this guy than try and fight him. Because I, I, I don't even think that there's like a reward for, for beating him or anything. It's just you just beat him, that's all. So yeah, I will totally... I'll gladly take a small hit to be able to not deal with him. So if I remember correctly, and see, and this is one that's getting really tense too, because they're basically establishing they're like, yeah, this guy could uh, he could show up pretty much anywhere and just kick the crap out of you. <laughs> Hope you like. <laughs> Hope you like big giant dudes that are impossible to kill. So over here. Oh wait, no. To get up to the third floor, I have to go to the library. Durr. Let's let's head back here. Now, Mr. X. Um, I mean, you saw him drop out of like the umbrella chopper. So like, it's kind of established that he's clearly some sort of umbrella bio weapon. But like, I don't know if they ever establish if he's like the tyrant from the first game that got killed at the end, um, or not. I don't, I don't know to be honest. Um, I don't think so. I think it's something different. It's gonna be liquors out here now. Let's see if I can avoid them. Oh yeah, missed. 
keep it, okay. thing is like like right now I'm just totally I'm just like I'm thinking yeah Mr. Ashley he's, he's just gonna like bust through this through the freaking like bookshelf or something or like he's gonna be up in this clock tower area just waiting waiting to just kick the crap out of me have to use this, which will bring that down. Hooray! Oh, don't need it anymore, apparently. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to my handgun. I'm a little bit obsessive about that, just because I don't want to risk accidentally using, like, a shotgun shell or something. Sure, let's push the switch. So I'm gonna move that. Oh yes, I'll take the night plus that that gives me a sure, why not? Let's go down let's go down the dust chute. I forgot where this deposited me. Oh, down here. Okay. No! no. Get away! Oh man, there's Ben getting attacked. Oh man. back here Ben oh man he is can you still hear me come on it's messed up damn I don't believe this I almost got the story <laughs> yeah because that's what matters when you're ben. dying He's acting Bitter weird. Irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. He got that paper put in good condition despite being all Get bloody. That scum. Make him pay. And his ponytail's in good condition hang too. Him, yeah, just, just hang in there, man. Oh, he's totally dead. Interesting. Leon. Mail to the chief. So hold on, in this one, yeah, this is all the thing. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. So he got attacked, hey. and in the regular, and if you're doing Leon's A scenario, hold Leon, on. Are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm telling all these people to stop for a sec. So, interesting. That's actually really interesting because, um, if you're doing Leon's A scenario, Ben still gets attacked. But uh, your first, um, but a thing, uh, a creature comes out of him, like what happened with Chief Irons, and that's the first boss. But that didn't happen; he just died. So is my first, so is my first boss going to be something different? I wonder what it could be. Oh, I've seen pictures of a form of William Birkin that is, that is not so far mutated. Could that be my first boss in this place? That would be really cool. 
because I've never fought that before, and I think it would be interesting to see that. Sure, I'll go down the ladder. But either way, I'm assuming that after using all four of the plugs, there's going to be a boss fight. That just seems like seems like that's going to be happening regardless. Stupid spiders, stupid spiders. I hate you. So there is indeed a save point over here. Now, I'm going to try something to hope to hopefully help me get into this boss fight with the most amount of weaponry and healing that I could muster. I'm going to use this, get back up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take three of these plugs. I'm not going to take four of them, I'm going to take three of them. Or actually, no, what I'm going to do, in case this doesn't work out like I, like I think it does, I'm going to save. Sure, I'll save. This doesn't work. I'm not gonna lose a whole bunch of progress. So, okay, I'm gonna take three plugs out, put them in, then I'm gonna come back, grab the fourth one, and some heavier weaponry. No, I think this will work, but if it doesn't, um, I think the shotgun will carry me if needed. And I still have a heal. But my idea is I want to try and have a couple heavy weapons, like I'm thinking like the Uzi and the Magnum, along with a couple heals. So that uh, I really have some power going into the fight. Um, it'll be really, really useful. Oh man, there he is. Okay. So yeah, wow. That's William Birkin. Like, just after he got infected. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I might die here. But uh, I guess if I do, I'll be okay. That's interesting. You still got some of the human part of him there. Jeez, he just smacked me down. Okay, I was <laughs> totally not expecting this, but if I die, it's no big deal. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, he got me totally <laughs> with that big pipe. Thing is, I. Oh, jeez. Okay, so yeah, I died there, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, so now what I need to do is let's head in there with some power. Um, I think I'm going to be packing. I'm going to have at least two heals. Um, I'm going to see if I can bring the Uzi, the Magnum, and the shotgun because um, because I really, I really want to just have some weapons to just bring him down really fast. Or actually, you know what? He is a boss, and um, I have no compunction about using powerful weapons on a boss, because that's what they're meant for. So let's put all this stuff back in here. I need to think about what I'm going to be using here. Okay. So what do I want to bring? I want to bring the Magnum, that, I want to bring the machine, the submachine gun, because that's fat, that's very fast firing. Um, I want to bring two heals. Now, here's where I have a choice. Now, I've got a big power weapon and the, and the submachine gun, which is probably going to be decent enough. But I, but what I could also do now is I could take another weapon, in case the fight drags on, or I could take more healing. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna go with some more healing. And I think that'll work, because I'll have the Magnum, which will have some power to it. 
rid of that big gun. Plus, I'll have the submachine gun, which I can use to very quickly wear him down if I need to. The submachine gun I'm going to try and hold off on because the submachine gun is also nice to have against zombies, unfortunately. And just other things. The, the, the magnum is definitely, it's meant for taking on tougher enemies. So, he's going to be in here. Let's see if I can't mess this guy up. That's kind of cool though, because like it's he's only like halfway transformed. And he does that. Definitely doing something to him. Really? No way. <laughs> no way. Oh man. <laughs> I just defeated him with one clip of magnum bullets. <laughs> one magazine <laughs> took him down. Wow. <laughs> that just proves how powerful that magnum is. One one clip. One magazine. Just keep saying clip, it's magazine, but anyway. One one magazine, one magazine of magnum bullets dropped him. Man, that is that is awesome. That fight went from, oh man, I'm totally worried to completely trivial. Okay, so let's put all this back, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's that's that is something that I definitely like to see. Um, okay, I gotta do some inventory management here. I can be a little bit obsessive about um, organizing things. Sometimes. Okay, there we go. So I need these four plugs. Okay, I'll bring weapons. And then I'm probably gonna come back and get some healing after I use the four plugs. Yeah, I'll just I'll use these four plugs and then I'll come back and grab a and grab a healing item. Yeah, come on. I just want to finish putting them in here. So I should unlock that door, and then before I go further, just in case there's more craziness ahead. I am going to go grab a healing item. I'd much rather have at least one with me. I, t I, I like to have a full heal with me at all times. Just because you never know what might happen, and it's always handy. But man, that... That fight, that first time, I'm like, oh man, this this is this isn't gonna be an easy fight. I switch weapons to go to the Magnum, just just the regular Magnum, not the upgraded Magnum, and just that fight was just it was over in probably not even a minute. I just stood there and and uh, and hammered away at him. But hey, that's cool. Not gonna complain about an easy boss fight. Yeah, it's definitely, it's fights like that, that weapons like the Magnum are just, that's what they're meant for. Tough boss, break out the Magnum. Oh, hey, Ada, what's up? Ada. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. You, you tell her, Those Leon. These are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. <laughs> look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? All right. 
we'll do she is, she's totally wearing the locket she found. <laughs> totally wearing it. Just yeah, let's just loot it. It's fine. So I guess I'm going this way now. I don't think I'm going to be dealing with the giant alligator. Which is interesting. Okay, Ada, you have a gun with your own ammo. If any enemies show up, you can take them out. Why? Because I don't really feel like it. So, yeah, this is... Let's see, there's only one door here. Oh, a couple blue herbs. So, what, is there normally supposed to be, like, spiders here or something? Sure, I'll take the blue herb. Make the brown amazing mix. Actually, you know what? I should make some cupcakes sometime. Completely off topic, but... Or some cake. Some delicious, moist cake. Anyway, back to going to the tunnel. Back to going to the sewers. Oh, another another save area. Okay. Well, hold on a sec, Ada. I've got to... I better run around this room and grab things for a little... For a second here. Sewer manager... Yeah, give me those handgun bullets. 30 of them. Man, they must be expecting me to get into a fight. Nope, not going down there just yet. So, let's see. Okay, that's gonna bug me having that space there, so... That's <laughs> so how much I have yet to develop, so I don't want to run all the way back to the dark room. Okay, so... Time to continue on the way! So this door locked? Nope, not locked. Oh, was that the way back? <laughs> it's like, I'm not going backwards, you moron. <laughs> Who are you, stupid? I guess it's this elevator that we gotta go down. Oh. That lady. Oh, he still gets shot. Leon, that woman was. I have to talk to her. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he just took a bullet. <laughs> that woman was. I have to talk to her. Thanks, Ada. You know, just got shot. It's okay though. The wound is. Uh, he'll live. Uh, you have to catch the woman. Okay. Let's go catch her, I guess. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I'll take the sewer map. I forgot there were two instances where you played as Ada. Listen, Ada, there are, there are spiders here. You need to be careful. He's... <laughs> ah, he's holding... I don't need this. I don't even know what it is, but I certainly don't need it. Yeah? Where else would it go? Ah, no, 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 no. Yes. Those bugs can be a pain because they can, because because they can catch you in like a damage loop for the animation and just totally wreck you. That's if I was using the valve. I actually shot the gun out of his hand. Nice shot. 
sure the one was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Yes, do it. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. Oh, Her no. Her husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? Oh no, what is that? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Oh. Where did you get that? Oh, they're supposed to focus on the locket? Exactly okay. like the one I gave Sherry. She dropped it. I've been holding on to it for her. Liar! Give it back to me! Okay. Well, what? Well, she lunges for the gun. Oh, she just hits her in the face. Uh. Too bad. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, oh. She just calmly picks her gun back up. Oh, man, look at that. This is a picture that Sherry had. So the plot thickens. There's a, there's a vial in there now. Okay. Okay. So, so, so is the entire point of that scene just to have Ada find that out? Like, she couldn't have... Just, I don't know, open the locket herself at any point, or maybe look around. This is up here. So this must be taking place after Claire apparently went through, because Claire has to do all this stuff. Oh no, what are you doing, Ada? What was that? Just like stood there. She's like, yep, that's a real interesting wall. Ada? No, oh, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Covered in blood. He's fine. He's fine. It's cool. Hey, where does this go? Okay, so this heads back to here. Huh, so is Leon just, like, back now? Oh, wait, I think I, I think maybe I am gonna deal with the alligator again? I can't remember. Which I hope so, because the alligator's a really cool fight. So where does this go, then? This must be a different room or something. Yeah, it's a different room. Like, like you can't tell me that there wasn't anything in that bag right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Three green herbs? This is all a save point and all this. It's an old locker. Yeah, open it, weirdo. Yeah, I'll take the green herb. So let's get these into the storage box and actually looking up the time. 
This might be a good place to stop. Why didn't I combine that blue herb with anything? Hold on. I'm organizing things. It's... Quiet. Okay, so let's put this back. We'll take these out and combine them. He's doing fine for having a for having a, uh, a bullet wound. He's he's cool. So that goes there. Okay. Okay, so there's something beyond there. Is there an ink rib in here? Yes. Okay, I'll go check out like the next room or something. We'll see what's there, and then I'll probably save and end this. There we go. Oh, I, did I accidentally go the right direction? Oh man, there's all sorts of zombies in here. There's a zombie down there who'll probably bite me or something, which will be a pain. Oh. Yeah, you can just die. How's that sound? Oh, that's cool that that zombie then floats back up. I can go through here. Hmm, what is this? this isn't this an area where Sherry went? Sure, let's put on the ladder, I guess. This is where Claire would have fought the thing. Yeah, this is the area where Claire fought the first boss. So is there something? Yeah, let's just check it out, I guess. Yeah, there's Chief Irons with the thing that came out of his chest. He's dead. So yeah, that, so that was dead. Huh, interesting. So basically, in Leon's B scenario, you can go and see what... You, you can go back and see the areas that Claire would have seen. Just, uh, just, you know, I'm gonna head back here. Who knows? Maybe there's some items or something, but... Definitely looking like this is just kinda sorta... Hey, you, you can see all these areas as Leon after Claire gets through with them. Which makes me kind of pointless. We have an ele elevator. Yeah, that's just his office. Yeah, see, now, now at this point, Claire has solved the puzzle. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so... Okay, let's get back to that save point. Or back to a save point, anyway. And then once I get there, I'll save the game, and th that'll be the end of episode four. So definitely made some good progress. Got to fight a boss, that that William Birkin boss. That was actually really neat, because, um, you know, because you, you get to see a different stage of it, like when... You know, when he first started to change, it looks like, you know, where it still, he still had some of the human features, which is really interesting.
course. Oh, you can. This is gun out there. Yeah. All right, so let's let's go down the ladder here. Sure, I'll go up the ladder. Yeah, I'm just running around bleeding. It's fine. He's fine. He's fine, folks. He's fine. He really is. See? My health even says so. Condition fine. Actually, I probably didn't even need to kill those zombies. Nothing like wasting ammo. Oh well. I think I'll be okay though. So yeah, let's grab an ink ribbon. Yeah, so I just used a bunch of hand ammo for a bunch of handgun ammo for basically no reason. Kinda bums me out a little bit. It was like thirty rounds of it, but oh well. Guess I'll live. Let's save here and uh, end this episode. Definitely made some good progress and looking, I'm going to be making some more next episode. So we will overwrite that save. Alright. So that is episode 4 of my full playthrough of the Leon B scenario for Resident Evil 2. Uh, definitely made some good progress. Tune in for episode 5 on uh, a little bit. Um, probably going to be getting through the sewers and heading to the laboratory, I would think, but we'll see how it shakes out. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all of you next time.